Good morning, Griswold Church. It's me again. Our ministry moment comes to you a little bit early this week because of just kind of coaching how we're going to do Sunday morning. This morning as I was walking back to my office, the sign that hangs in the uh, workroom caught my attention. It says courage, compassion, and a little bit crazy. That's exactly what we need at this time. Courage, compassion, because what we're dealing with is a little bit crazy. In this season, we're not going to be able to meet together as a large group. But I want to encourage you to join us together via online video. The video can be accessed by going to the church's website. It's simply griswoldchurch.org. And when you get to that site, if you go to the right-hand side, there's a box that says Live Video. Click on that, and that is where you can access this Sunday's worship service. We want to encourage you to click on it a little bit before 10.15 because it's going to go live at 10.15. Then, once you join us online, here's some encouragement to you. Pray when we pray. Sing when we sing. Prepare communion for yourself in advance of 1015, and when it comes communion time, take communion with us. Engage in the message. Grab your Bible. Take notes. Be involved. I realize that this is not the same as joining together with our church family all together at the brick and mortar church building, but know that we're still worshiping together. We can still be the church. During the week, we've been asked a few questions. One is, how do I share prayer request? There's two ways. Send, primarily, send an email to Julie at the church office at griswoldchurch.org. Do this before Friday morning, and then that way Julie can post an online bulletin that can be viewed at the church website. Just like live video, the middle box, there's a box that says happenings. And when you click that, there will be this week's bulletin for you, to, for you to view. A second question is, how can I continue to give during this time? Right now, we, there are only two options. The first is this. You can write your check and mail it to the church. Remember that during this time, the church office is closed. Please don't feel like you can just drop it by the office. No, we're asking that you help cooperate with this and simply mail your offering to the church. A second way, and I feel like is a better option during this time, is that you can give online. Again, go to the church website. And when you see across the top banner, the first tab you can click is Give. It is a secure website in which you can give directly to the church. You can either do a one-time gift or even you can set up a reoccurring gift, kind of like you do paying your online bills, although giving to the church is not a bill. Give and continue to give, especially during this time. Grizzled Church, I know the situation we are in is not a situation that you can like, on Facebook or whatever, but this is the time in which we live. It makes me think of the early church that we read of in the book of Acts, the Jerusalem church. The early church in the early chapters of Acts, the church was growing. They enjoyed being together. They shared together. They met together on a regular basis. They were together a lot. But the problem was the church was confined to the walls of Jerusalem. Well then, we see in later chapters that persecution began to arise in the church. Side note, I don't think what we're dealing with is any form of really tragic persecution. It's just a difficult time. But because of the persecution in the Jerusalem church, the church was forced to scatter from Jerusalem. The good that came out of that situation was the church expanded its borders and even more people were able to come and to know the story of Jesus outside the brick and mortar walls of the Jerusalem church. I envision that this season will allow us opportunities to minister outside the walls of the church building. And so to circle back to where I started, 
Now is the time for us to have courage, compassion, because the times we're in is a little bit crazy. I love you, Grizzle Church, and I look forward to worshiping with you this Sunday. God bless.